In this video, we're going to go over how to connect MailChimp to Genesis eNews on your WordPress website. Once you're on the back end of your website, go down to Appearance, then click on Widgets. We're going to scroll down and select the Genesis eNews widget. Go ahead and drag this over to your flexible footer and drop it in place. Since this is in here, we're going to go ahead and take the Contact Us box and put it in the inactive sidebar. This will keep all the same settings for your contact, but will make it completely inactive. On the Genesis eNews plugin, go ahead and put in the title that you'd like your newsletter sign up to have. After this, scroll down and type in these fields. For email, put email. First name, put F name. Last name, put L name. After we're done with this, we're going to open up a new tab and go to MailChimp. If you don't already have an account, go ahead and sign up for a new one. Put in the email address that you'd like to use, then select a username and a password. After all your information is put in, go ahead and click on the verification email that you received from MailChimp. Great, now your account's all set up. Just go ahead and select the plan that you want. Free should be totally fine. You don't have to pay, it still works just as well. But you'll go through and put in all the information you need. Now we're gonna get your audience set up. Go ahead and click on Manage Audience, and then click on Sign Up Forms. Once you're here, scroll down and click on Embedded Forms. When you come through, you're going to see a bunch of code down here. What you're gonna to need to do is copy and paste this all into a Word document. Once you have this in your Word doc, go through and find the link for form action. Once you've found this, remove everything else from the Word document. Once you have the form action link, go ahead and copy and paste this into the form action section on the widget on your site. After this is in there, scroll down and click Save. Now go ahead and go to your About page and check out your newsletter sign up in the footer. Once you're there, go ahead and type in your name, last name, and email address. After you go ahead and click Go, this will get you subscribed to the email list. You'll see that you have some options after this. You can continue onto the website or manage the subscription preferences. We're gonna go ahead and go back to the website. On the back end of the site, after somebody subscribes, here's what you'll see. Go up, click on Audience, scroll down, and you can check New Contacts. This is where you'll see your new subscribers. 